Tracking the state's first Amazon same day delivery warehouse may be coming to Elmwood. You can almost hear the applause from business leaders in Jefferson Parish, but some of the neighbors aren't happy about it. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott is on Mound Street. Jordan. Susie Kurt, behind me is the area that could become Amazon's new delivery warehouse on Mound Street. The company says it's a $30 million investment that would create up to 200 jobs, but some neighbors say the location isn't right. Everything's about money. Everything. Several people attending Wednesday's Jefferson Parish Council meeting voiced their concerns about the state's first Amazon same-day delivery warehouse coming to Mound Street in Elmwood. People get lost all the time. They come in our neighborhood, so if you're adding uh, four, three to four hundred uh, to a thousand cars a day, uh, you, you, there's going to be people coming in our neighborhood, and it, you know we're concerned about the crime element. Amazon plans on utilizing what they call flex drivers for deliveries, which would be like Uber and Lyft, but for packages. Up to 400 flex vehicles delivering about 50 packages each. I want to reiterate to council that not all of these vehicles are arriving on the site at one time. There will not be 500 flex drivers at this facility at one time. We, you're absolutely correct. We can't do that. Amazon is also said to be working with the council to build a 12-foot sound wall and hire an exterminator in case construction disturbs rodents. But for now, Amazon received the okay to merge the two lots on Mound Street for the warehouse after the council voted to change the property's zoning. You know, again, we're going to continue to work with Amazon to try to get as many concessions as possible. But we have to go site plan to go through. We've got a building permit to go through. But... We need to continue to move forward in this process to make progress. And it's for that reason I'm moving for proof on both of those items. Neighbors say their fight isn't over, though, and they still have concerns that need to be addressed, like traffic congestion, specifically on South Al Davis Road, where I'm standing and where the facility's entrance is slated to be. However, Councilman Bonanno clarified that's only temporary pending the completion of construction on Dickery Road. Susie Kurt, some angry speakers at that council meeting. Thanks, Jordan, for the update.